Hi, my name is Aaron Efoy. I'm a third year pharmacy student here at the University of Kentucky, and I'd like to welcome you to the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy. This is the largest pharmacy education building in the entire world. We have five stories here spanning one and a half football lengths. We're going to take you on a quick tour to show you what you're going to be experiencing. Hi, I'm Chelsea Shepard and I'm one of the third year pharmacy students here at the University of Kentucky. And um, Aaron just introduced you to the building and I'm just going to show you an aspect of it that we have. Um, so this is our media wall and it shows um, research, statistics on the college, and then a lot of times we'll have faculty and professors who will pose an interesting research question or something pertaining to your course and they'll meet you down here at a specified time and come over and talk to you in small groups. So behind me is one of our two large classrooms that holds your entire class. So when you come to school here um, you'll be in class with all the first years and you all move through the curriculum together in the same classroom um, on each table there is plug-ins so that you can charge your iPad laptop whatever you need and there's also microphones and speakers so that you can easily hear your lecturer and if you ask a question it is then recorded on the echo so that if anybody's not in class or if you just need to go back and listen you can re-listen to all of your lectures all right so this is one of our GLRs or our group learning rooms so normally um, Blocks week or anytime there's a big exam coming up, you'll have a lot of students that will come in here and use these rooms to study. These TVs are connected with Apple Play, so when you um, play the iPad initiative, when you get your iPad when you come through the curriculum, you'll be able to airplay your notes up onto the screen or you'll be able to look at Quizlets or anything else that you need in these rooms. Now we're back here at the lockers, so we have specific lockers assigned to each student and each faculty member here on campus. Um, the PY1s will start at the far end of the lockers and you'll progressively work your way closer to the classrooms as you go up in year. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at my locker so you can have an idea of what to expect. So you'll either be assigned to the top or the bottom. And then these little black slits here are what we call our mailboxes. So anytime that we have a paper assignment or we have a rubric that's been filled out on a project that we did, instead of having to pass it out to 140 students in the classroom, the professors or the TA can just come down to our lockers and slide that piece of paper into our mailbox to put it in our top shelf so we can have that. So here's a look at my locker. So I keep a couple of essentials in here. I keep my white coat in here. Uh, I keep my backpack in here when I'm not using it. Uh, top shelf is where we have our mailbox and I also like to keep a couple of other things in here. So I have some candies that we got handed out by some of our organizations. Um, I keep my sterile gown in here for our compounding and uh, pace, which Chelsea will talk to you a little bit about in a second. And then I also keep my pencil box. So I have an extra lock in here, some pens, some pencils, some highlighters. And basically this is just what a standard locker looks like and that's what we like to keep in there. All right, so um, in your curriculum when you come to the College Pharmacy, we have what is called Pace Lab, and it's our patient care. So we have three components of that, and that's institutional, ambulatory, and then um, patient care where we work with standardized patients to simulate a real patient interaction. So this is our institutional lab where we have um, hoods to simulate um, laminar airflow hoods so that you can practice compounding, setting up a hood, and then Later on in your time here as a third year, you'll learn how to be a pharmacist and check the other students. And then we have all the supplies that you'd need so you can make your products and simulate the um, steps of institutional sterile compounding. So this is part of ambulatory care where you'll learn um, about non-sterile compounding, uh, checking patient prescriptions that would be brought to you in the pharmacy. And then all the supplies here are provided as well. So you'll have all of your mortars and pestles and anything you need to measure and compound the product. And then um, every week you'll come in, there will be new products for you to make and things of that nature. This is where you will come for the patient care portion of lab. Um, after you've met in the classroom with your um, preceptor or your lab instructor, you'll come in here and you'll interact with the fake patient and you'll use um, the physical exam beds, you'll do blood pressure and um, diabetic foot exams and all sorts of different things that they'll include in the curriculum for you. But this is supposed to simulate an office such as if you were working in an ambulatory care clinic with a doctor or if you were out in the general public. This is the hall of history, is like, as we like to call it. So behind me you can see just a basic history of uh, the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy. Here we have our most recent um, history and dating all the way back to 1870 when the College of Pharmacy was first founded. And this is just a constant reminder of all the achievements that the University of Kentucky has had with the College of Pharmacy.
All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed your tour of the building. Hope you guys learned a lot, and we look forward to you joining us here at UKCOP as part of the Farmly. All right, bye, guys.